everyone, it's Taryn from Just a Simple Home. Welcome back, and if you're new, I'm glad you're joining us. Um, I am a mom to six. Um, I'm a homeschooling mom. Um, my oldest is in eighth grade this year, and then I have a sixth grader, a third grader, a first grader, a preschooler, and a two-year-old. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing what we're using for our preschool homeschool curriculum this year for 2017, 2018. Um, I held off on sharing this video, even though I've shared my other curriculum, um, because I sort of consider myself really relaxed um, as far as homeschooling preschool and even kindergarten, but I got a lot of requests on um, Instagram and on my blog from people wanting to know, curious about what we are using for our preschooler this year. So I'm going to be sharing it with you. Um, and I just ask you to keep in mind that I am pretty relaxed, um, as far as the preschool years, you know, ages three and four to even, um, I really focus on habit training, um, you know, holding their attention span, really embracing, um, we're teaching them how to embrace being part of the family, you know, as far as having their own chore list, taking care of themselves, um, listening to directions, things like that, taking turns. Um, so I don't really, even though I do have, you know, a, a sort of curriculum, um, it, it's not really. Um, and you'll see that in the video. Um, I am not one to spend, you know, a lot of money on my preschool curriculum at all. Um, I think, you know, every preschooler can learn how to cut and paste and follow directions and they can learn their ABCs and they can learn their one, two, threes, um, and all in a fun way. So I would much rather spend that money on either my older children's curriculum or, you know, on different fun activities, museum memberships and things like that, art classes, you know, fun stuff. Um, but I'm happy to share what we do and, you know, if it works for you, that's great. If you can take little pieces out of what we do, that's great. If you have um, any other suggestions or if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer. I'm happy to share anything I do. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I am going to take you into the school room now and show you um, first the activities that we use for preschool and then I will show you the curriculum that we use. So let's get started. Okay, first you'll notice our calendar section or what she likes to call her preschool wall. So um, nothing fancy here. I have a calendar. Um, I believe it's a scholastic calendar. I got it on Amazon. And over here we have just what day of the week it is, the weather, tomorrow. And then over here, um, these actually did not come with this calendar kit. This is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. So just similar, what's the weather like? and then today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Um, I have actually my first grader kind of helps my preschooler with this stuff, so they take turns. And then over here, we have my address, phone number, and emergency numbers, and just the season, and then they can just spin that little thing in the middle. So they do that, she does that, every day to start the day. All right, then here, she needed, my preschooler needed her own box because as you may have seen in my previous videos, um, each of my older kids has their own kind of work box, we call them. So my preschooler really wanted her own box. So this is just, I think I actually got it at the dollar store. I don't know how long it will hold up with a preschooler, but so far, so good. So in her little box, um, these are just a bunch of activities that she has. Some she does with me, some she does with her um, six-year-old sister, some she actually does with her two-year-old sister, and some she can do on her own. So honestly, I think most of these activities I got from probably the dollar store or even like the Target dollar spot. Nothing fancy here, um, but I'll show you. We have flashcards. She's big into flashcards, so colors and shapes. Um, in another bin, I have more for like 
Uh, there's ABCs, there's numbers, there's beginning phonics. Um, we have some poetry ones, we have some beginner French ones, all kinds of flashcards that she can rotate through. I have some little puzzles, 24 piece puzzles. Again, I think from the dollar spot, actually probably the Dollar Tree. 24 pieces, she can do these herself even though she does sometimes get frustrated, but that's all right. Um, and Eric Carl, just a little take and play activity pack. She's obsessed with the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So when I saw this at the dollar store, I grabbed it. Um, a lot of these activities in this bin uh, are going to be used for like when I need her to actually be doing something so that I can work with her older siblings. She can take one of these out. So again, from the dollar spot, uh, these create a sticker scenes. But these were really cute and definitely something that she can do on her own. This one's a princess one. So, I mean, really, a dollar for these things can't go wrong. She has her own art supplies in here. And then these beginning sounds and printing practice um, kind of workbooks. One, this red one, the printing practice, um, you can use a dry erase marker, which I loved. And then this one is a pencil, but these were from um, the Target dollar spot. This is just a coloring page. A little play foam mat. Counting. She. This is really, I mean, this is kind of um, beneath her, but this is definitely something that she can do with her two-year-old sister. So that's in there. And then just to pull the tab, um, animal book in here, which I can show you. This is actually pretty cute. And I don't even know where I got it, but um, she can pull all these things, all these tabs at the end of the page. So it really just keeps her quite busy. So I think that's pretty cute. Then she has a couple of these, these bins. She's got one, two, and three. Um, I don't know if you can see. Sorry, lighting isn't wonderful in here right now, but she's got these um, little bins on the bottom, one, two, and three. I think they're from Ikea years ago. And in here, again, just little activities that she can do on her own. These are some Eric Carl lacing cards. She loves doing these. So we have quite a bit of these. Um, and her little lacing strings here. And then the only other thing that's in this bin are the um, the wooden handwriting letters. Um, I don't even know what you call them anymore, but from Handwriting Without Tears, you can put these letters together. Oh gosh, I keep calling them letters. You can put these wooden shapes together and make letters. And she was like so excited when she saw, you know, that she could make a D, right? So she loves doing this. She gets so excited. All right, next over here, I have just this wooden um, little tray. I, I don't even know where I got this, but I've had it for years. And hopefully you can see there's little, there you go, there's little compartments here. So we use this for all kinds of things, but mostly for like counting and sorting and things like that. And then I have, um, these pom-poms, which again, I think I got these at the dollar store, like these big tweezer things. Um, so basically she would just be able to sort the pom-poms. I can either have her counting, you know, I can, sometimes I put like little, um, numbers here. I'll put number one, number two, number three, number four, and I'll have her put one pom-pom here, one pom-pom there, or two there and three there and four there. Um, other times I can have her sort by color, um, things like that. So we have a lot of counters. Basically, for counters, you can use anything. Um, this is a favorite book of hers, The Real Mother Goose. Mother Goose, of course, right? Um, books are huge. I mean, books are huge at any age, especially if you homeschool, I know. But um, for this age, we read so many books, and it's just... Um, you read the same book over and over again, you know, for that repetitive feeling. 
Um, and that's how they learn. And my preschooler, she can actually read me some of the books. Um, some of these things in The Real Mother Goose, she can actually read me. And um, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, she can read. We've got a few other ones. Now, when I say she can read, she really can't read. <laughs> but we have read these things so many times that she's memorized them. So now she can read to her little sister. It's pretty cute. So I just wanted to show you this. This is one of her favorites. Um, and then I didn't take out every single activity, but um, we have things like tangrams. She does tangrams almost daily. Um, she, you know, has puzzles. She's got things that she can um, cut out all the time. Scissors, painting, Play-Doh is a big one, of course. Um, things like that. Just things to keep her busy, keep her mind working, work on those fine motor skills. And now I told you I would share what we use for curriculum. And I say curriculum loosely, but here we go. Um, the curriculum that I use is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. You've likely heard of her, but I will link her stuff below anyway. We start the day with this. It has a, what day is it? So we circle the day of the week. She traces Monday, colors in today's date, writes today's date, and then the number before and the number after, and then writes today's number word. Then we can, let's see, sorry, I didn't mean to skip a bunch of pages here. Okay. Next, we have what time is it, what's the temperature, and what type of clothes will I wear? Now, all of these are in a binder, and they are in a um, plastic cover sheet. So she uses dry eraser marker on all these. So she can color in the clothes that she might wear today based on, you know, if it's hot or cold. This is the 100 day of school chart. She colors in one square and she's kind of random with her squares, but that's okay. Um, and then when we get to 100 days, we'll have a little party. Then we have a section here where she can write her name every month, which is really cute. I've actually kept the ones from my other kids so I can see how they're writing their name at the beginning of the year and how they're writing it at the end. And then we have traceable numbers. So she just traces a number every day. And then we have the calendar. She can trace the month and the year, the date, and then there's a little chart for the weather. And then there's a number. We do one number a week and one letter a week. So it's kind of hard to see, but on these numbers, there's little um, shaded circles. So she can put counters on these. She can put stickers on these. She can trace this number, color it in, paint it, we've done. And then she traces the word down there. And then, nice. Oh, no, I didn't. And then the same thing for the letter. We have a letter of the week. She can color it in, she can trace it, things like that. And then a shape, also a shape of the week. So that is the daily learning notebook. So she does that first. And now our preschool curriculum. Again, this is from Erica, Confessions of a Homeschooler, and I will link this down below for you. Um, I actually have, and I didn't pull it out, I have a file box with all of these things in here. Letter of the week, obviously. Um, I have organized it so you know I have one file per letter, and that's how we're actually going to use it for the year. But I put um, letter A in here just to give you a peek. All right, so Erica has graciously put lesson plans in here for us. So if you'll notice, this is the letter I, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. She gives you all of the lesson plans here. And again, I say lesson plans very loosely. It's games. 
It's games, it's activities, and it's really, really enjoyable. I have her preschool one and I have her kindergarten one. Um, so I do highly recommend this. I've had all of my children go through these and they've loved it and we've had a lot of fun. And it's easy too, it's very simple. So there's the lesson plans. It also comes with um, game instructions. So all the games that she includes, she has told you how to use them here. You'll see in each letter she has um, basically a sheet of paper with a letter on it that you can then, you know, glue apple seeds or apple jacks. She just gives you some ideas to use them, which is helpful. Okay, so first letter. She does the vowels first and then goes through the consonants. I'm going to show you everything that is included here for letter A. And hopefully I'll remember what is what. Um, now I haven't cut everything out because <clears throat> we actually don't start this for a few more days. So this is laminated, letter A. This is her um, lacing card. Sorry, every letter has a lacing card. So you cut this out, um, hole punch it, and then she can use it to put her lacing through. This is a pattern page. Um, again, you cut this out and then fill in the missing patterns. This is a tracing page. Now I have laminated all of these pages over here. Um, for the most part, I'm going to be using just the page protectors, the plastic page protectors because you can also use dry erase markers over there, but I laminated these. So she'll be tracing these. Um, after we, use a, we learn a letter, we cut it out and we put it on our alphabet wall. So that's what these are for. I've not cut all these things out. I have some work ahead of me this weekend, but this is a game, um, an uppercase and lowercase sorting game. So we have an apple tree with uppercase and lowercase, and then these get cut out and she just matches them. Then we have some counting practice, one, two, three, four, and she has them go all the way up to 10. This is a color puzzle. Now keep in mind, she has all of these activities for every single letter, <clears throat> sorry, every single letter. A few of those. That's just the next one. And then some more writing practice. And these are what you can use for the, um, this counting game here. Okay, and then a few more sheets. This, um, this we use the do a dot markers for. You can see that. This is for um, that sheet where I told you she was telling you what you could glue on the letters. I have I print um, double of a lot of things because my two-year-old likes to take part. Next, we have a poke page, just a capital and a lowercase letter. They can use um, either thumbtacks or a pencil, um, kind of anything sharp, and you just have them poke all along the letters. These are um, alphabet bracelets, so you can print them on cardstock and then have them color and then have them glue the edges and then they have a bracelet to remind them throughout the week of the letter that they're working on. This is just a coloring page and then um, there's some cutting practice pages. And the last, well, I think the last thing I have in here is um, she gives A to Z memory verses. So you'll notice every letter of the week has their own memory verse. And you'd be surprised after five days, they really can learn these memory verses. And then in the back here, I just have, again, in these little um, page protectors and then in baggies, I have some um, puzzle pieces for different games. And I believe that is it. So that is the letter of the week curriculum. Like I said, I will link everything below. Um, and if you have any other ideas for preschool, I would love to hear it. 
And if you appreciated this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks.